Hello and welcome to Network Studios. I am actually in my new room and I'm finally able to do a video I've wanted to make for quite a while. Uh, I don't know what the sound quality is like. I don't know what the video quality is like. Actually, I know what the video quality is like. It should be 4K because I'm using my brand new GoPro, which I bought several months ago. Beside the point. But for the last few times I've been doing these videos, I have done reviews on these little babies, lightsabers. But thanks to a few people in my comment section for the last unboxing I did, I discovered I am the only person that does review videos that owns one of these. This is the Saberforge Crusader and today I'm actually going to do a proper review for you people. I can't do any spins because there's a light right above me. Okay. First things first, let's go over the design. It is basically 100% metal. The main body or hilt is metal with a leather wrap on it. Uh, how do I describe this thing? Start at the top. So at the top, let's see, my view window's down here. Not my best design choice. So first things first, when this is illuminated, it looks fantastic. Why is it not illuminated right now? I lost the battery pack charger, so I'm waiting for a new one to arrive. It's not good. So yeah, like all Saber Forge Sabers, comes with a kill key to keep its battery life longer when it's turned off. It's got three points where you can remove the blades with, they are, with their signature Allen key wrench, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. points of undoing are at the bottom, and it's that way, like that. Right. This top one does undo as well, however there is no LED installed there, which is a shame. Each Crusader come with these ripper style blades, which are nice and I'm gonna go more into them in a bit for my next section. And as you work down the body, nice matte black shaft or handle. Then you reach the bottom part, which is a leather wrapped grip, which credits with credits do with um, say before, do they actually have the grip proportions right for a battle axe and that was something i'm not expecting so i looked up some things about battle axe to do this review the best way to hold them when you do an attack is like this so yeah no they before just did their research and finally at the bottom you have this nice little spiked pummel one downside to this is these points are actually quite sharp Which, frankly, I'm not complaining. It does give it that nice, menacing look. But I have whacked my shoulders against these fucking things so many times that it takes the piss. So I say shoulders, I mean elbows. <clears throat> now, one thing I know people will ask, is this convention safe? So say if you want to go as a Viking Jedi or Viking Sith, Honestly, in my opinion, in England, this is not convention safe. And the reason why is actually because of these ripper style blades. So if I get one of these out, I can actually explain it a bit better. Or at least I'll try to, these things are a pain in the ass. Right. Do future Matt edit this bit out. If you haven't, I'm disappointed. Okay, so the Ripper style blade. Here we are. Looks harmless. It's plastic. Why won't this be convention safe? For one, these are actually extremely tough. And I've tested this on a saber, and I don't have the blade anymore because it was when I first bought this thing. This will easily snap through this. That isn't good. Because these are fucking strong. 
and as well this has no give no give at all it is solid which is great when you're doing just photo shoots but if it comes to sparring this thing will deal damage like this will deal a lot of damage again not complaining i have a few friends that deserve it but beside the point also with these ripper blades these two points are actually quite sharp and again if you get stopped at a convention they're likely to confiscate this as a weapon here in england so unfortunately in over here this side of the pond it's not convention safe which frankly is a shame in america i do not know if that is the case as well but for what i know this isn't safe so when you buy this, you actually do get these little blade plugs right here. You should come with two. Oh, sorry, I've got the other one here. And they fit quite snugly in there. And honestly, these are actually quite nice designs. I do generally enjoy the look of these designs. But these will also fit all other sabers. I actually use them on my... Prophecy, when I'm not using it, and the other several sabers that I currently own. So, a little bit more about the weapon at hand. Let's quickly tighten this blade back up. Again, this is actually quite difficult because I've got one blade jabbing into my freaking kidney. So, a few downsides. Oh, fuck, I did not do that well at all. Here we are. A few downsizes. Most people that buy the custom sabers from Sabre Forge, Ultra Sabre, Vader's Vault do it for either cosplay or doing tricks with them in front of a camera. This, because of its weight balance point, it's about there. It makes it extremely difficult to do spins. Like, I think the only one I can feasibly do is that, and I'm not even going to risk doing a rotation around the body. For the sole reason, it, these two ends are just too sharp. But as a decorational piece, it goes great. If you're like me and a guitarist, and have one of these guitar wall mounts, uh, bring that down here. Sorry, baby. You can actually put that quite snugly up there, and it looks amazing once it actually has battery. But it looks amazing, and it will be a great decorational piece for your Sabre collection. So let's bring this back down Ugh. and put you back up. Sorry, baby. I love you, really. I'll never get rid of you. So, yeah. Now, to make this convention safe, there's a few recommendations that I saw in the comment section before re-recording this. And I thought these were genius. You could, if you have the ability to modify these, you could, in fact, turn it into a scythe. Or, what I'd recommend is if you've got a cross guard saber already, these two little blades, which I got, I was given these when it came with this. I don't know if it comes with all of them as standard. I generally do not know. Um, you can use them. And if you have a decent knowledge of electrical, you can move an LED into this top section, have another one of them short blades or a slightly longer variant of that blade get a pike extension on this and you've got a spear you've got quite a nice lightsaber spear and with if i remember correctly the pike extension is about if it's about i think it's that long about the same length of the hilt so that will give you quite a good spear length and i am actually tempted to get that for this saber that would look frankly amazing I say saber, axe, 
I want to get it for this axe. <clears throat> now, if you want to see this thing lit up, I recommend going to my original video where I was in a shirt because I was going for an interview. 10 minutes after I finished recording that. But now, uh, this is the Sabre Forge Crusader. As a decorational piece, it is fantastic. If you're doing cinematography and want to make your own short films like I'm doing, say, selfless plug, I would actually recommend buying one of these because it would look amazing. If you have the VFX knowledge to make these Ripper Blades in After Effects, one, tell me how to do it, and two, you could make an amazing short film with one of these against, I don't know, one of these. It would look generally amazing and I would subscribe and shout you out every second of the day. But that is the Sabre Forge Crusader. It's up to you. For me, it is a decorational piece and a prop for cinematography. It is not a cosplay piece. It is not a sparring piece. It's very limited to what it can do, which is a shame because it looks amazing. But then again, that's just my opinion. You guys may go, yeah, that is for me. That is for sparring. But if you do, make sure you be careful because like I've said, this thing can deal damage. Where with this blade, I already know you could get off with a broken finger, bit of bruising. But nothing more than that. With that one though, if you hit them in the right place, that is a hospital trip. But no, that is my review of the Crusader. It, again, I do love it as a decorational piece. And if you want something just to make your collection look more unique, stand out more, if you have it, your de uh, if you have your collection on the wall, I actually recommend having the Crusader right in the middle. If you can afford to get, I don't know, a blue LED and a red LED, you can use that as your centerpiece. One side Jedi, one side Sith. Again, that would look amazing. But that's all I've got to say about the Crusader. It is, it is good. I would do some videos outside with it, but again, I don't have any way to charge the battery at the moment. I am looking into getting another Sabre Forge Sabre. And I'm going to be doing a review on that once I've got it. But for the time being, it, it's going to remain dead. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I am the only person on YouTube to do reviews of the Crusader. So, ta-da! Now, if you want to see more of these, I do have several other unboxing videos and reviews of lightsabers from Ultra Sabers, including the Scorpion, the Prophecy that you have already seen in this video. We have the Monarch and the Sentinel as well. Um, I've actually got another saber that I want to do a review on, which is the Ultra Sabers Graflex. Again, it's getting time to do that one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you a lot next time.